if, I, if I could just say one thing that <clears throat> in terms of international NGOs, I think they, there are those who, I think the source of the funding is important too. Um, there's a lot of, uh, the way the U.S. government uh, foreign assistance program has evolved, they don't have the capacity to um, actually do anything except fund and oversee those funded. So I think the uh, United States Agency for International Development is a funder itself, and I think they basically t put out a tender. The American foreign policy objectives are these things, mm -hmm. and if you want to bid on them, submit your proposal, to. but you're going to do what we want done and we're going to pay for it. And I think the dilemma for nonprofits or international NGOs is to, that may be where the government wants to fund it, but that's a big pot of money, and can we reconcile what really interests us and why we come to work, and can we respond to that need and contort ourselves? And I think it's really been a kind of papered over compromise that's gone on for 30 years as the U.S. government lost the ability to have access, um, and the nonprofits needed access for funds. They found each other, and, and backing out of that dynamic where most of the U.S. foreign aid is administered through either contract services mm -hmm. or uh, private nonprofit or nonprofit organizations, I get frustrated because with some of the big boys, and I used to, you know, kind of run the Peace Corps, and we were a government agency right. with all that that meant, uh, but there are private groups that receive more federal money than the Peace Corps does, and no one knows it. And so I always tell these guys, I saw your end report, and it's great, but I didn't see that part that said your tax dollars at work. Mm -hmm. Because I think the disconnect between, if it's done by this NGO, that's good, and the folks at AID who are funding it are, are really frustrated because they're always getting the screws turned on to them. So. I think that dilemma of the source of the funding um, dictating you know, how it's going to be described and the accountability channel that's going to flow from it is a really hugely unresolved issue in our country, particularly in the realm of foreign aid.